Damn, son, where'd you find this? Well, hello there, strangers. Welcome, everyone, to episode four of Remud. The, we got a lot the, to talk about. The ReZero podcast. Um, so, Core One's finale aired this week. Some some big things happened. A lot of big things happened. Um, yeah. So. All right. What what? Let's get a general general reactions. What's everyone thinking? I want to say that I need to give this episode two ratings because that episode lets it <laughs> give it the weirdest look. Because I don't think it's one episode. I really think it's two split up 50-50. One of which is the tea party, and the second is the other, where it is Otto and Pet- Patrice, dragon person. Patricia. So, Patricia. It's, Patr- it's, it Patricia? it's like Patrash or something. <laughs> Patrash. 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 <laughs> well, we clearly know who's the worst girl for you, TK. Um, but all right, so Tea Party, continuation. I will thoroughly give that a 7.5 out of 10. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. The, the ending of the episode, which was, I think, like five minutes of him coming back out of the Tea Party, I'm giving it a four. The, the end, is this including his interaction with Roswell? Yes. Wow. All right. Um, Dude, you're a robot. Oh, ro- robot mo. Your audio is gone. <laughs> Give me two seconds. I know you guys expect. Could, really I thought the Roswell part was like the big thing for this episode. What'd you say? I thought the Roswell part was like the shocking thing of this episode. Maybe the most shocking thing was the Roswell part. Like, I you really the think- part two, we'll get into both of these. Because that was like, I didn't know what to think anymore. Like, all my theories were just like, okay, these kind of need to take a seat in the back. Some of these were wrong. Some of these, I'm like, they kind of don't matter anymore. I mean, I'm okay. just shocked. You didn't like the Roswell stuff, Mo? You didn't think that was crazy? Let's take a deep dive on the Roswell, because I feel like that's a good discussion point. What are your takeaways from it? And, like, why do you think it's that special? I think it's like, to me, my favorite part of the entire season. That was so crazy. Like he had relevance finally. We also understood that he like come on, he's the one who did the assassination attack in the mansion. He yeah. is not only the only character who has an act like an actual influence on Subaru in the real world, he knows that Subaru comes back and he's like the ultimate villain because he's doing everything for his goal and making Subaru choose between Amelia and Beatrice, and he's like, one of them has to die. And he's like, I need you to become powerful. I need you to, to do whatever it is so I can meet Echidna or whatever goal stuff I need to get to. And yeah. for that, I'll do whatever it takes. And we've learned that he's really not on Amelia's side. He's on quote unquote Subaru's side. But here's a question. What was unusual, like what was different from any other interaction? I feel like, okay, what was special was that like he, he put all his cards on the table, but he's mentioned every one of those segments before in a previous episode. He's never mentioned that he... Mentioned, he, yeah. He's never what? mentioned, like... <laughs> well, like, okay, take take how he sent the assassins. We know that the witch's, like, invasion was set up by him. So that's, like, okay, it was, like, a... But that was for Amelia, he was said. Expected. Oh, that wasn't known, though. No, like no, no, no. Like, that he set up the witches called like Beetle Goose and those guys before, to yeah, that no. village, and that was for Amelia to get support for Amelia. And we were like, oh, like he's fucked up, but he was trying to do that to gain followers for Amelia. But I like, I felt like that is a good segue or enough of a segue to not be surprised by it. Okay, it was it was interesting to see his dynamic, but it wasn't like I was shocked. Given the fact that, like, my understanding of Roswell is that he has a ton of secrets hidden, and he is driven enough to be willing to put Amelia and Super into dangerous situations to get the outcome he wants. You're but right. This woke me up completely. 
<laughs> his reasoning is the craziest part of it all. Like, okay, it's not like crazy. Feel, for, for his for reasoning is like, wild, though. His reasoning was so different from everything he's shown. Like, he's just like, no, this is for you to make a choice. He's like, I know you keep coming back. He's like, I'm aware of this. And he knows how to make this plan that he can't avoid. But, like, he knows, like, we knew that he knew that. So this is why I was waiting. You're telling me that you knew that he utilized that knowledge to create this plan on purpose to make him no, okay. choose? That was, that was shocking, but like I knew he knew that Subaru can come back to death. Yeah. We knew that he has these like ulterior motives, which allows him to do like really screwed up stuff. This that's, like, that's like being like, I have e the individual pieces of the puzzle and being like, I know how this whole puzzle looks together without putting it together. No, it's like looking at the preview of a puzzle box and then being shocked at the result that you fixed it. Like, okay, it's a There's it. no way. You didn't know. <laughs> You're saying you knew all this, that means. That I means you knew, knew it. I knew. I'm just saying I'm That's not the preview. I'm not shocked by it. So you you weren't sh shocked when you like started like talking normally without singing or whatever? <laughs> Suddenly his contacts fall off. His makeup that and everything. Part, like, even when he was getting eaten by the rabbits, he was still like in character. Was he? I thought he was more of a like, normal, serious voice. Yeah, I, I don't remember then. I don't know. He could have been talking. I'm pretty sure he, he didn't remove whatever singing thing he's got going on. He's, he's in like, his intonation was very evident this episode. And so the change was really polarizing. But I always thought that he was normal throughout like this season. I could be wrong. Wait, what, uh, he, what, he, has, he has like a slight like intonation, like oh yeah, yeah. You mean like he, how he talks normally? Yeah, like when yeah. he sings his like conversations. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that he said that Ram and him are the only people who cared about. Because I'm like, do you care about Ram? I'm like, last time I checked, you you, <laughs> you put a hole in her just to have a conversation with Subaru. So I'm like, I don't know if it's pecking order or like <laughs> what is going on. But there. I guess he knew like that timeline was done. That's yeah. true. He did summon the fucking rabbits. That's what that episode was more shocking to me than this encounter with Roswell. That's, really? Yeah, I because like then we thought it was just for like a kidnap. Yeah. Stuff. And now we know like that like it wasn't to push Amelia or whatever to get a kidnap. It was to push Subaru. He's not trying to push anyone but him. He doesn't care about yeah. anyone else. True. And that and was like, he's yeah. like literally he cared about both of them or he was Amelia first and then Subaru. And he's like, ah, okay. You know what? You're part of the team. He's like, yeah, I would never doubt you. And now it's like, like literally trying to kill way. like all those people at the mansion. Like, you know, he, like he's like, he doesn't care. Like, yeah, well, he also was like, dying. no, no, no. He's like, yeah, they're dying. He's like, this isn't like, a, oh, maybe they'll die. Maybe not. It's like, no, I wanted them to be killed. Yeah, it's not like the village oh, was like, oh, be... I just want it to work out, and then like it's like you know you get stronger or it fails. This is like no, 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 no. I I did this. They're gonna die, and or or you save them, but you need to make the choice. True. But one I of mean, these people needs to go. I feel like he's very reminiscent of Echidna herself. Oh yeah, because, like his methodology and his thinking is very much like I want to put these situations on you. So I can observe. It's like he has the physical trials almost. Like how he puts Subra at his ultimate worst just to get a reaction or a situation. Well, this is for his goal though. This has nothing to do with like like wisdom well, yeah, or reactions. Yeah. True, right? but it's very yeah. akinna esque, I'd say. Yeah, I agree with that. But I'm not but, I um, like... sorry, go ahead. No, I, I was just gonna say that. Like I understand where you guys are coming from, but shock value wasn't as impressive uh, especially given what happened in the tea party scene like that was like i i cannot wait to see what you thought was shocking about the tea party i cannot <laughs> wait to <laughs> see but um but like I the thing like, is right like before we go what do you say what do you say Moose? i was like kind of like falling asleep during the tea party scene but immediately woke up to the roswell stuff because that, that to me was shocking I think I found the episode really enjoyable until the Ro the Roswell scene ended. Then I was like, "This is." I'm like, "Can they just end the episode now, or like do something?" I was like, "One oh, of the that last like two, five, two or three minutes, whatever." It yeah, like, like wasn't bad, but I was also just like, "I'd rather just end now, like or like fast forward." It would have been better if they ended on the Roswell stuff. 
that that was but um but like okay so like here the perfect branch to go to the tea party i guess we'll go to the beginning of it but i'm gonna say at the end now remember when i kidnapped talk to um subaru and was like with his return to death and yeah. we were under the impression this whole time that Satala is like, oh, as long as he makes it through to the end, that's all that matters. It doesn't yeah. really matter what happens to everyone around him, whatever. In this interaction, we learned that Roswell is literally more like that than even Satella is. Like, yeah, literally, I Roswell is the one who's like, oh, yeah, as long as you make it through, I don't really care about anyone else. It's like, this has just been a front I've been doing to get to my goal. But he's like, you are the one that matters. And he's like, I will make you into what I need you to be. I mean, it's kind of interesting. And this is like, it's a nice spin on an isekai in which, okay, we all know that the main character is going to be the main character and that he's going to get most of the attention. But what I enjoyed most about this is that everyone has a different take on Subaru. Like, everyone wants something specific out of him. I like that, too. Yeah, it I puts agree. It's like a different spin on, like, just main protagonist material. It's like everyone has their own intentions, right? Exactly. And that's what they highlighted and what I found interesting from the, from the tea party is that, like, they vocalized that each witch want something out of Subaru, but it's like very different from one another. And that's why they all chose to like keep him alive. But you know what's interesting? Is like if you think about it, I'm going back to Roswell real quick. Other yeah. than the first like few episodes like with Felt and um Elsa then, he actually plotted everything then. From then on it was him. Like he's been the actual antagonist. Well minus, how do you know minus the like, How do you know he didn't plan like the first killing of subaru well we don't know that's why like he didn't say anything about that well, that's the question. he could have he could have but like what i'm saying is like isn't that crazy when do you think he, um, when you think he found out that, that uh, what when do you think he found out that subaru was the protagonist or like the person with the power we don't know like he could have known even before he came in the world technically like whatever the book right it's like oh yeah the book like depends on that he could have known before he could have known after like like mo said he could have organized the whole thing from the beginning i mean for all intents and purposes he could have been a factor to bring subaru into this world i have something as well always has he always been amelia's sponsor like even before subaru came in or yeah that like sometime before yeah. at least maybe well, yeah. he even knew then that yeah but like like, it's just crazy that he became suddenly the main antagonist and that he's actually been the underlying main antagonist for some time now. Well, yeah. Than just point. like a dude who's been throwing stuff in here and there. I mean, this is, a, this is an interesting point because you have me thinking, what happens if Roswell, like, so come season one, we are led to believe that by chance Roswell took Amelia in and, like, made himself a sponsor. But what if he orchestrated the whole thing from the get-go, given some information he knew from, you know, 400 years ago? Or whenever, like, whenever he learned Yeah, like, whenever, he, like, around the same time Beatrice was freed. Like, what happens if he came in knowing exactly that he had to get Amelia and then find Subaru? And that's how the show really started. And that's how each action carried forth, is that it was all through the orchestration of Roswell. Well, I think I have a different theory for how he came into the world. Are you able to hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I have a different theory for how he came into the world, building off something you said last week. But I think before that, I want to go into the tea party before I talk about that. But, like, yeah, it's interesting with Roswell about his orchestration and everything. True. But, yeah, I don't have any thoughts about Roswell anymore. I can't believe you gave it a... <laughs> four you out of ten. Four, you said? You said a four? Yeah. Okay, I mean, at least it wasn't a two, so I'll take that. <laughs> Moose? Moose, we're ending I want to hear what you thought, and, like, if you had any differing opinions from me about the Roswell stuff, or, like, if you felt the I same. Thought, I, I agree with you. For me, it was, like I said, my favorite scene from the whole season. Um, show? <laughs> show. No, I think I still like yeah. the parts of season one with Felt fighting. I think those are my favorite the of the episode? show. <laughs> the first or second episode. Uh, are you kidding? That that was the highlight. Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked by that, but okay, I'll move on. Yeah, right. <laughs> back when uh, back when I didn't know better. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're all naive. True. Uh, 
but yeah, I thought it was very shocking. And he lives with his enemy. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. he grew. I'm surprised he quickly linked up that he needed the echidna powers. Yeah. I didn't realize that until he was like, I don't have the powers anymore. When he started like apologizing and like being like, oh my God, he's like, you're insane. And he was like, I don't have it. Please stop. He's like, I'm so sorry. It's like, I don't know what I did. I was like, this is so good. Cause it's like, he really is powerless to this insane man. And then he was like, Russell's like, go get it back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's shocking. He's literally like, scarier than the witch by it. That's what's interesting is that they both didn't like, they were both surprised they didn't get the powers anymore. He's he's literally well like I guess Cerberus knew because he was the choice but like shook it was like like he was more scared he really, like that was when he was like wait you're way worse than the witches like he was like I take any of them any day over you yeah that's true Ross all the secret the secret antagonist literal imposter <laughs> literal <laughs> imposter. Anyway, should we go to the tea party? Tea party. Tea party. I don't remember much of the tea party, but uh, Ma- Ma- I just remember him crying again. <laughs> okay. I want to hear. I want to hear Mo's favorite part of wh- why he likes the tea party, and I want. Well, you you take us through the tea party and like what it was. What I, I really, really like it too. What? What's up? What was the rating you gave it? Seven point. Yeah, five. seven point five. It's like a good rating. It's a decent. I just want to see why I think. It's better. I mean, I do like it a lot, but it's like, got to hear why it's not a... (laughs) (laughs) All right. Do you want to hear, like... Okay, so, like... Take the viewers through it, though. Take the viewers through what happened first. Like, or and take it by segments, I guess, or take it as a whole. So, segments. So, like, I said it was, like, really three... three settings, one of which is continuation of the previous episode where you see all the witches gathered. And you hear Subaru discuss, I believe, with Echidna, the continuation of the deal. And, you know, she, like, offers him this help, and he says, you know, he still has to reject. That's, like, one one segment of the tea party scene. The second segment is, again, Subaru's enlightenment, in which he goes through this, like, depression to then stand up again to then feel confident and that's when like everyone rallies towards him and says you know what a great job he's done and yada 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 the third and most interesting part was satella talking for more than three minutes and speaking <laughs> more than three words and that's okay, like you definitely need to elaborate more but i'm a green like with what you're saying or at least what i think is the direction you're going with these things all right i mean there's a lot more but i'm trying to like yeah yeah i get it but like those are the three things to me all right so first reaction first hot take is that you guys suck because subaru ain't taking the deal oh Oh, wait oh i knew he wasn't gonna take the deal oh but like also one thing that changed with me with it she didn't say that she wasn't going to physic like be able to manifest and do stuff just talk to him i was like come on man i was like i still <laughs> want it but because she's still yeah. really interesting and stuff but i was a little like damn she's not gonna like like be able to use I magic him to grab the hand so us. bad you i mean want... i knew it was gonna happen like did you actually think it was I gonna like, happen? Just grab it. it was oh, like i was i wanted it so bad you wanted it so bad you thought it might yeah. No, I knew it wasn't going to happen. I did want it, though. I was surprised by how much I wanted it. I feel like it was less impactful given how many witches were around him. Like, if it was just him and a kid, I would have been like, okay, try to take yeah. it. But the fact that there were so many supporting members that are like, yeah. hold off, I'm like, okay, it's more reasonable that he rejected. So um, what was the first part of that that you thought was like, oh, it's just that he didn't take the deal? He didn't take the deal. That was okay. a pretty big one for me. Okay. And it stems from the idea that I guess it You're right and we're wrong. Yeah, he basically this is his first initiative to loving himself or like respecting himself is by not taking this deal. 
Uh, because he doesn't want to suffer. Not only that, but like he's always gone through this series with the understanding that he can just kill himself, suffer, take it all by himself, and then move on and get to the objective. Can we all agree to that point? Like that's how he's right. This is this is groundbreaking information we didn't know before. The preview to the public. (laughs) He lives to suffer. But then to tell at that point was like maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe you should learn to like live each life. Like basically she's like YOLO. (laughs) That's the crazy thing. Satella to be the most underwhelming (laughs) scene of like the entire show. What do you mean underwhelming? What? That's not underwhelming. That's a that's you a, she, about underwhelming. It was like the all of season one and like it's like the evil witch you can't even say her name. And then like it's supposed to be this huge character and she comes in and she's like, Don't hurt yourself. But that's, that's like what after shows you watch better. Man. What are you saying, you slice that's... of life, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 Dude, when your favorite scene is a like young lolly character fighting and then you're surprised by freaking satella's reveal something's For questionable real. about this wait um, i'm just saying i expected her to come and it'd be like a like like a huge fight like a naruto that's what I think. that would have been so basic though that's yeah, what made that's me what so happy. So no that's how it should be you you Do not basic, you you from the cookie bitch. cutter you? dude you're 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 an anime vet. You're expecting the tropes, and they're not giving you. Mean, to it's not an anime vet, Mo. It's an anime normie. Oh! I can't believe I'm siding with both of you on different things. <laughs> I didn't think this could happen. This is this is truly it was a so, episode. I don't know. I so guess it's just showing that I'm the only one who's truly right overall. But you know, <laughs> can we bash on? TK for a second here. <laughs> how, how? What are you going to do? You're going to say I'm wrong? Because that it disproves your thing then. And then you have but nothing. Half of your content's wrong. <laughs> half oh, of my what? Let me respond oh, oh, to Yeah, I got it, got it. Let me respond to Moose and tell you why I thought it was the most impactful and like not underwhelming scene to have Satella be who she is. I'm supporting him on this. I think it's important because we are under the assumption that she's doing this for an evil purpose. That yes. she's gone through the whole series watching him suffer, watching him kill himself, just so that she can watch him get to a, like a point, you know, like a final point. For so she can love him or whatever, have her to herself. Yeah. And that's like what happened before when she says, I love you. It's like, I want you for myself. I want you to be only for me. And then we're like, okay, she's crazy over Subaru. She's making him suffer. And then this episode hits you where she's like, I love you, but it's not only for me. I want you to respect yourself. And then the final word that she says, she's like, I want you to respect yourself and understand that in the end, you're going to have to kill me. Like, that yeah, wanna, is yeah. the biggest shocker. So I'm going to add to that for sure then. Because, like, I think this is what I think maybe... Okay, so this is how I took it, first of all. I agree with what um, Mo said. But, like, starting off, it was more like, like, you know, it's like the roles reverse almost. Like, you know how Moose, we were shocked with Roswell? It's like Satella was now just not that. Like, they were, like, almost rolled. Like, she's actually supporting him almost. Like, she's like, yeah, I gave you this, but it's like, I want you to love yourself. It's like, move forward with the people you're with. Don't suffer for them. Like, do it for you, too. And she's like, I just want you to be happy. That's what will make me feel happy is if you're happy. And we're like, what? We're like, we thought this was all for her just to have him. And yeah. like all of this. But like, clearly there's something that we don't know. It's like, it's missing. And like, she isn't the villain that she's touted to be almost. However, she did say in the future, you have to kill me. And that brings me to my theory, my new theory, which is ba- which actually comes in conjunction with Mo's theory from last week. I went ahead and watched last week's episode of our podcast. Oh, and wow. I remember how you were talking, Mo, how who, like, brought him to the world. And, like, there was, like, something that was missing. Like, Amelia forming a contract with him, right? Yeah. 
what if we are treating Satella and Amelia as these mutually exclusive things too much when they're actually closer to one and the same? Because what Subaru's power let him do? Come back to life. And how did he come back to life? Through death. And, like, where does he go, though? He travels through time, right? True! So, what I'm thinking is, what if this is, like, Satella, like, like, what if the we saw initially isn't the same Satella as the one that appeared to him now? Like, the Satella he saw at the Ruins and Sanctuary is just something Amelia can become. And, basically, it's, like, pushed to a certain point, she becomes this, like, crazy thing, like, because it's, like, why would Amelia, like, like, think about it. Like, she says, you have to kill me at some point. What if this is Amelia from the future? Or, like, Satella. Like, she clearly, like, I think it's, like, if she can give him t- powers for, like, time travel, basically, why wouldn't she have them? So you're saying and, that, like, oh, sorry. Just to confirm, you're saying that Satella is Amelia from the past. From, like, the future or something. Like, what if Puck, what Puck failed to save Amelia from was she did this or something, or has cycles where this happens. Something pushes her to this. I don't know if it's a power thing or there's some information we need. But basically, what if all the way in the future, she she sent, she knew, like, because of the path she's taken with Subaru, that she needs to go and bring him into the world. And it's trying to get him to this point where she, where he can, and that's why, like, he needs to save her. Like, no, she was doing Amelia and Satella's this separate things, but the end of this series is going to be, they're kind of the same. But this like is where Mo today's lunch was like showing me photos of <laughs> of Satella, Subaru, and Amelia trying to tell me that Satella was their child. If you look, <laughs> if you look at the eyes, it, he was like, the the eyes eyes they, it's Amelia. It's like they, there's the point is that she looks the same as Amelia. Yeah, but I agree with you. I also had my second conspiracy was that. Well, it's jumping off yours, is that Amelia is progressing on this path. I think she can she gets what Satella's powers and can go back in time. And that's what happened four hundred years ago. Yeah, I think something pushed her in the future, you know, whatever maybe Wait, you brought think her. Satella pushed Satella went to the future and became Amelia, or are you thinking Amelia went to the past and became Satella? I think so, potentially waves, because, like, what happened in Amelia's past that she woke up? Unless she came from the future, then. Like, how does it work, you know? It's, like, kind of confusing. Like, all we know is, like, she woke up in the forest. Like, that's her first memory with Puck and stuff, right? Yeah. So there's gap from there. And then we have until now. I think something pushes her. Something happens that gets her to this point. Kind of like what Roswell did to her, right? Partially. Yeah. And this is where she could, end, like, become... We don't need to understand how this power works or whatever it is. Like, what's the origins of it? Something to do with the witch factors, I'm assuming, and, like, other things. Hmm. But, but I like, agree. Yeah. My, can, my theory is... So take it, like, whatever. Like, when, when Amelia was born, that's, that's starting point. That's, that's segment one. She lived her life, got adopted by Roswell, segment two. She meets Subaru, segment three. And then this is where something happens which makes her turn into Satella. That's my theory. Or at least re- at least in that one timeline, right? Like in the yeah. timeline where he really failed and that happened. Well, I'm assuming it's not the timeline where he fails, but the timeline where he might succeed to get her to that point where she needs... Well, I guess he fails. Assuming that... I'm just assuming it happens at some point, and she's saying that like the point that she's coming from is a timeline where this is eventually going to happen. Yeah. But it's too late at that point and that you need to kill me by then. Exactly. Because it would so make sense why she loves him so much also. Like they've developed this connection throughout this time, right? And that's yeah. why she has such an obsession almost with him, or it seems that way initially. Exactly. So something might have triggered that event to which she's like, okay, I've seen all your suffering, Subaru. I want to go back in time to resolve this. To bring it to a point where you are, well, there's so many plot holes. Then, well, I think, well, I think it's like, he failed, like the reason she exists all the way in the, there is because he couldn't do it, and she was like, "I need to bring him," and realizes it's kind of like the cyclical loop, like the his whole situation is where he keeps coming back and whatever, and he has to break it. And basically, yeah. he's like, "I need to bring bring him in," 
but he needs to love himself and not do this because that's actually what's in the end going to matter for him to kill me and to right wrongs. But yeah, but which is like, they're like, they're not in time, right? So Echidna can see all his trials. Yeah. Right? So they're like above time. Kind of, yeah. That's why I'm. That's why I'm inclined to believe that, like, she can literally. She has something to do with time. She has some powers to do, and yeah. like that's why she like Subaru can basically do that too, or like was given. But like, what? Like, I'm surprised about, it, and the more I think about it, is there's one timeline that they made sure to like highlight, which is 400 years to the current segment. There was these witches. And what happened is that they all died. She was Tella, like murdered them or whatever. Yeah. So they're pretty chill with her though. Like they seem pretty chill with her overall. That's like not in the, the beginning case, right? there was tension, but they were just like talking with her and I was like, okay. So we're like we're led to believe that, but yeah, that that must not be the case. If they're all like friendly with Satella. Yeah. So, so something must have happened 400 years ago that we don't know, but killed all the witches. It's one piece all over. Void Century. I don't oh. know how many of our viewers know about or watch that, but literally missing period of time. We just know something bad happened or something happened. Yeah. But, but I'm, I'm agreeing. I think Satella, I'm willing to wager that Satella is Amelia. But something so, yeah. happened. I feel like we can't treat them as separate people anymore. It's clearly yeah. like the same. Like she same has some connection. A different timeline. Yeah. I, I like that theory. So that's but why I thought it was really good. Because I'm like, this changes like everything. I was like, what the hell? Nah, I still think that scene was dumb. <laughs> why? <laughs> you would have preferred she was just this different person? I don't know. She, she seemed like the ultimate enemy. Well, I think this is, like, maybe it was, like, her at the end of her timeline almost, you know? She needed, like, a white whale battle. Crazy. I think we're going to get, like, remember, like, in The Taste of Death and uh, the thing? We're going to get this crazy person eventually. Like, you're going to get your super insane thing that he has to fight and deal with. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. This is just to show that, like, there's another, like, like, what? It's, like, it isn't just so monochromatic almost. Yeah. But Mo, what else did you like? What else did I like? I like thing? So I like that whole dialogue between Satella and Subaru. Yeah. I like the fact that, you know, out of self respect for himself, which we don't see too often in Subaru, he rejected the deal. Um I liked how that like I liked the bit of the dialogue between each of the witch. Like, I felt like it kind of just, like, encapsulates, like, the general purpose of each of these witches, which is, like, they're interested in seeing Subaru live for some reason. For the, for, like, their own. Dude, Sekhmet's dope. She, she destroyed Minerva. She, she was literally just, like, just shrecked Minerva. Dude, I'm, I'm Minerva. sick. <laughs> Damn. What was her name? <laughs> Not Daphne, but the little, little one. Ty- Typhoon? Oh, Typhoon. Uh, Typhoon just literally broke Minerva's hand as well. <laughs> yeah. I like that she defended Subaru. I think there's some connection there. Like, I don't know what it is, but... True. What is what is uh, Satella? Which of what? Envy? Three, no, Envy. 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 I think it fits. Oh, it definitely fits. Yeah. Is there any segment yeah. in which Amelia is envious? Can we relate? Kind of. She has like an awful life, kind of. <laughs> she's probably envious of everyone. That is true. She's lived her life in a castle, or in. She just wants to be outside. Well, more. She wants to be accepted. Yeah. Because her goal, you know what? She fits is like, or also her goal fits with the witches, you know? Because she wants to create a world of peace with coexistence. So that's why she kills the other witches. Well, no, but, like, basically, it's, like, you know how the other witches had good intents? Like, again, yeah. Daphne, like, like all of their things were labeled as, oh, the one who tried doing this. And you're, like, this doesn't sound bad. But everything they did ended up being absolutely awful for the world. Yeah. Which is why they're, like, regarded as witches. And it's, like, 
Satella wants to branch like ra- like basically stop racism or coexistence. <laughs> Results in genocide in the past. Like, yeah. I mean, we're on. I feel like we're on a track here. We just need like. I can't believe Garfield's the apostle of greed. I'll never get over that. Do we say that? Don't they said that. that. It's confirmed. Like, Subaru was like, I figured out he's the Apostle of Greed. And I'm like, how? I'm like, on what what grounds did it, can they give that to him? Yeah, why is she... Well, so what does that mean, though? Garfield? Like... She basically... Garfield did the same thing. He can go through a trial. He's met Echidna. He's, like, he's knighted. knighted. Yeah, but <laughs> what does like it matter Beetlejuice. if he's knighted? It's like Beetlejuice. You know, he is, like, the Apostle for... Uh, no, I, oh, that's Archbishop. Oh, sorry, Archbishop. Sorry, he's like I don't know. He's some like representative or something. I don't. They haven't really talked about. I mean, it just points out the fact that Garfield's met Echidna, so she found him interesting enough to invite him to the tea party. Well, but he is the apostle, though. He is an apostle. Agreed. Who? Garfield. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so, like, okay, okay. He's been invited to the tea party. Which is like... Isn't that different? I, okay, yeah. Anyway. I mean, to be appointed an apostle, doesn't he need to drink? Yeah, it? it's a meter. Yeah. I'm just going to look up what that means. So doesn't he theoretically... Isn't he capable of doing the trials, but he chooses not to because he's scared of the outside world? I think so. I think that's what was said in this episode. Yeah, yeah. He's scared of the outside world. That's right, yeah. So I mean, like it just puts the, it puts me to the understanding that Garfield's in the same boat as Subaru. Oh, you're right. So apostles are. It's just simply that like, ch- ranking order of Sikina's like followers. There's, there's no like, super big meaning to it. I don't think we have uh, control over the clones. Okay, that's it. And they can take part of the trial. Yeah. I don't know whether it can have, like just stopped him from the trial or he now can't control the clones and, and he can't do the trial, but was there anything else, Mo, from that scene? I feel like that was like it was really those main two and like the fact that he, I know for you that he didn't choose a kidna. Yeah. So it really is stemming from those. Yeah, I don't think I have any more. I don't get why you didn't like it though, Moose. Like it had everything you liked. Yeah, the kidna. Harum. Harum. Which is? I don't know. It just felt... Maybe because you were asleep. I didn't... Well, I woke... Well... <laughs> it wasn't You're like sleepy, I woke right? up for... Like, I was sleepy, but, like, when that Roswell scene came on, I, like, immediately, like... Well, it was, like, like it was oh, spooky. Shit. It was really spooky. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you know what it was? Like, maybe if the first part happened last episode... Oh, I see. Because, like, we've kind of, like, you know, we're kind of, like, used to the witches now. Like, remember, we kind of, like, were shocked initially. True. But I kind of like so how maybe they that, that's what it was. Was. Maybe they dragged it out too long for you, Moose. Hmm. What'd you say? I kind of like how they normalize Maybe, the I don't know. Oh, okay. I just thought the information we got about Satella and Roswell was peak. Like, I, I love this yeah. episode. Whatever. I, okay. The only thing at the end, though, that I'm, like, auto-punching Subaru, that's, like, that's wonderful. I loved it. I was, like, great. I was, like, everything was boring, but I was, like, I'm so glad he did that. I, it made me very happy. I'm, like, I'm glad that I was, like, I was okay that the episode ended on that note. I was, like, that makes me happy. That's the true fan service that we all get. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm trying to gauge, like, something about that just seems so corny. Like, well, they, he's never done it before, so I'm just happy someone punched him. No, I, I agree with you, but it seems like they like this series really tried to hone in on this friendship concept, and I don't see the true ideals to it. Like, it's like they're trying to build this auto and super relationship, and I still don't know where they're going with it. Do you hear this, Moose? He's talking about friendship. Tell me, Mo, have you seen <laughs> Fairy Tale? Uh, no. Then, no, then no, no, no. You, know, you want to see a show that builds on friendship? 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's like friendship brings people back to life. <laughs> friendship not only brings people back to life, but if you're fighting something that eats the dimension of time and you're weaker <laughs> than it, friendship helps you beat that too. Wow. Wow. Even though there's training and like power scales and stuff, that somehow at the end of everything, that's what does it. Dude, that kind of reminds me of like Naruto, where it's like, if Rustin Gun doesn't work, let me give you my monologue. That'll surely do it. Shadow Clone and Peaceful Talk. Peaceful Talk, Jutsu. Choto <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Oh, God. Oh, God. But no, I, I like the auto punch. I do. It, it is cliche, but I was like, I'm just glad someone did it. No one's done it really. And I'm like, I'm like, God, it was like done. Like he was just like, take a deep breath. And I'm happy it wasn't just him breathing out and being like, do you feel better? I'm like, glad it was just sock in the face. Dude, that was wild. I but was, I was kind of telling Moose. Where they're I was going like, with Patrice. Yeah, is I was that... telling Moose, the only thing that could have made it better is he gave him a few kicks, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Light abuse. Just kill him. Or, or, or if, uh, I, I, I'm just going to say like Patrash, if Patrash just hit him too. Nah, she's number one. She's number one. She's not gonna touch Subaru like that. She's not gonna do him dirty. Yeah. So now we have a four month break, and then part two. Wait, there is a four. No, you didn't tell me that. I thought we got an episode next week. Well, that's the last. Are you joking? No, I thought there was an episode next week. No, no, this, no, this, this they're doing time. the they're splitting it up. So there's a one season, one season break. So four months, and then part two will air. I found the Romanji for now. How it's pronounced? What is it? We'll never say it like this. Patarashu. P- Patarashu. <laughs> it's Petra. Petra. Patrice. Patrashu. Yeah, no, that's never happening. Patrash it is. I like Patrash, but we're doing our dirty. We're doing best girl dirty like this. Well, I can't. You see this guy? You see this guy, Moose? He's like, oh, the Beatrice, this is Beatrice, that. And he switches so fast. Oh, no, sorry. I he mean... said, rem, rem this, rem that. And he switches. We can't, we can't trust his opinion. Dude, on you, a kid now versus Beatrice. Of direct eye contact from Patrash. You're telling me that didn't mean anything to you? No, no, that was great. I love, I love Patrash. I just wanted to like find a way to be like a kid now better than Beatrice. <laughs> you ain't getting that. You're not getting that. She is better, but it just sucks that she can't do like if she can't like form a physical like to help with magic and stuff. Then I'm like, whatever. Your knowledge yeah. is as good as nothing. You think he's gonna <laughs> follow it? I was like, it's not. I was like, it's not gonna work. I was like, you know, like, I already knew that she, what her thing was. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to force you down some things because I want to see you do these things and see how it works. Like, we're going to get to the end goal. But, like, you know, we're going to try some things, you know, just if I want to try them. <laughs> what are you talking about? I cannot. I cannot basically, like, <laughs> I can, yeah. And, like, I was fine with all that. But, no, the fact that she can't really help with the magic, I'm just like, okay, he's he's going to fuck up then. I was like, there's literally nothing. Like He literally needs someone there, literally by his side. No, he needs, he needs someone who's, like, powerful and, like, is going to, like, going to shoot stuff. That's what he needs. I, th- I thought his whole, like, the whole monologue thing about the, um, that he needs to love himself more is good. I feel like it's been a running theme and it has affected his character. Like, I mean, I think... Like I was telling um, Jitty this, and <laughs> I was saying I don't think these guys will agree. I was like, but I think he's gone much better as a character, and I actually like, I don't hate him now. Like I don't like hate hate him. Like at the beginning, like do I like I him? I don't hate hate no. him, but I still hate him. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm more on the dislike now. At the end of dislike, though, like one thing can set me back into hate, but I'm at dislike now. Uh, he hasn't made me hate him the last few episodes. I can't relate. I knew this is what I said. I was like, I, I feel, I was like, I feel like Moose will probably agree, but I was like, Mo definitely won't. I was like, he's, he's way too far gone in that hate train. 
I mean, it's. I. I guess it's okay. You don't have to explain. That, like, it's how I feel with Aaron. It'll. It's. I completely understand. Yeah, it's. Un- it's just unfortunate. Like the way he, that the way the anime stacks against him just makes me hate him so much. The way he I, talks. I don't think the way he behaves. Aaron, I just think he's a. He's just annoying. And my favorite thing of him was when when he was like, "Yeah, Historia. Ooh, oh yeah, spoilers coming up really quick. If you don't hear it, just." Cover your ears, skip 10 seconds ahead right <laughs> now. But my favorite was when he was like, ooh, Historia, eat me. Ooh, boo-hoo, I don't deserve to live. And I was like, yeah, this is more like it. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Aaron, I, I feel like one day, I feel like the hype, or my hype, is that Aaron will one day not be a bitch. Yeah. Oh, so you, you, you guys now agree that he is? No, well, I think he's like, fine. I think he's fine, but like that whole Historia arc just placed him in like that situation. Like he's done this in every season where he like regrets all his life choices. What? And, like, he... he never regrets. He's always like, I'm gonna kill Titans. <laughs> well, no, like when he goes with the recon group and they like die from Annie, he goes, I should have done this. I should have, I should have not listened, but I trusted them. And I killed them, and then cries about it. Yeah, but like, well, like, like, but the the thing in there though is he always reverts to uh, Titans did it. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna get mad and not get info. This was the first time where he was like, "All right, this is it." He was like, "I'm the worst." He's like, "This is the this is the lowest," and I sure. love that. Like was- I told you, what I hated the most, right? Like the, the the turning point for me was when he was captured with by um. Berthold? Yeah, and Reiner, right? Yeah. No, sorry, not Berthold. Uh, Reiner and Ymir, right? And Berthold. Yeah, it was those three. And then he was, like, so angry, but then he was like, I'm going to think, and I'm going to understand the information, and then I'm going to learn what they, like, what I need to know before doing anything. You remember that scene? Yeah. yeah. You remember what he did one line, literally one line after? Like, I'm going to kill you all. And then he he didn't, as usual. And I was like, you suck. I was like, well, how can you give me hope like this, that you will actually think and contribute? And then all you do is I punch. Big punch. I mean, at least his time skills are getting way better, which is exciting. Like, he's actually... That is true. I, again, I, was like, I did like that a lot. I forgot about that, actually, yeah. We'll see. I've heard season four. That's where... I'm apparently gonna like him. Craziest character change development ever. Ooh. Yeah, we still I don't know it. if they can do to him what they did to Subaru, but like I mean they haven't really done but I just mean you know how like much they've put into Subaru's character development this season. Oh. I mean well slaps, yeah, so I think Moose and I still have nine episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Armin though. Armin coming in with the big brain. He is the god. He he literally carries the three of them. Literally. Well, I mean, Mikasa and Armin can basically do anything they want together. Yep. I didn't Aaron. hear Aaron's name. Yeah, I mean, for good reason. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, all right. Before we get too off topic, I was what I was going with that uh, four month break was. What are your predictions for the second half of the season? Most Where are we going full time because he's like I should have chosen a kid no boo bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys, I'm kidding. kidding. I, I think Beatrice will be fine. Like I think she's gonna be really great and stuff. I just, I just, I thought a kid no would be chaotically interesting. Like chaotic. yeah, I hear, I hear. I hear TK trying to qualify so that by the end of this uh, part two, he's going to be like, oh, Beatrice was such a great character. No, I told you last time that I'm like, he's definitely going to choose Beatrice and it's going to be a good choice, but Echidna would have been way more interesting. Dude, I, I hear you. Hope. I hope that Subaru chooses to stay in Sanctuary with Amelia and Beatrice gets murdered by the assassins. <laughs> I don't want him to be in Sanctuary anymore, so I can't fully agree with you on that one. <laughs> I also would prefer 
I can't. I don't know. Now that I know this, at all, you think I he's gonna? Know, I prefer Amelia we're to gonna die. be done with the sanctuary stuff next half. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> I can't believe we're not. He didn't even go to the mansion at the end. He didn't we even were do wrong the first about trial. What, what? He didn't even do a trial three, and it's been what, like twelve episodes, thirteen episodes. Do you think Core Two will even? Well, Core Two has to finish this and the mansion. If it doesn't, like. I could scream. True. Like I would go back to past self, and I'd be like, "You thought like them being in the mansion for four for like three episodes was bad?" I was like, "Oh, you don't know anything. You're gonna get some really good episodes, but like the time, literally months." Yeah. Okay. Predictions. Well, it's thirteen episodes, twelve episodes. How big can it go? Biggest More prediction. The mansion in this, and he's gonna figure out his shit with Roswell and what he needs to do. Like it's gonna go back to the princess stuff. Well, I think, no. Yeah. I'm willing to bet that Super is gonna fight Roswell. He die. I don't think. I think Roswell's like super strong. Yeah. Yeah. But this is where. Okay. Oh, you so think with Beatrice? Gonna... Oh yeah. So I'm thinking he's gonna make a contract with Beatrice. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to fight Roswell, and the same thing that happened with Petal Goose is that Echidna is going to come in and, like, somehow, like, stop the two. With Petal Goose, it was Satella, though. Yeah, so this is going to be Echidna. In his this is going to be Echidna? That'd be, I would like that if I can see Echidna again. Yeah, I'm down for that. I think they've, like, teased the relationship between Beatrice, Echidna, and Roswell too much for them not to see each other at one point. Yeah, for like no closure. Yeah. Um, Don't forget then, our Apostle Garfield. Oh. May Lee. May Lee. May Lee. I don't know. Do you think Rem's going to come back? Do you think she's out here going to come back? I think she'll be in a coma. Who? I think she's still going to be in a coma. I don't know, dude, a, they, have to, they have to. They have to fight Gluttony. They have to fight those guys for sure to get his memory. Like she's, she's not in core two, my dude. She's her body's there and like the yeah. person's there, but no lines will be said except in memory. That's more of a season three, Mo. Oh <laughs> That's more of a twenty twenty four thing. Jeez, I really hope this show ends. The show ends. No. What? No, I said I really hope the show will end. By, like, then? I want closure. There's, there's like, a good amount, dude. Like... (laughs) Light novels are still going on, so... Really? And, And, like, I know that there's an arc with the two guys that were at the beginning of this core. And we haven't even, like, they haven't even touched that, so I'm like, okay... Dude, that's we a have... spinoff. That's literally a spinoff. No, no, no. Like, there's an arc about like them fighting those guys or something. Oh, I think they're two separate arcs. Like, I feel like there's an arc for each one of them because they're like crazy. But that's true. You know what? Because like, I think about like think about it. Like, we've done the witches. Next would be the archbishops. Like, we understand them now at the next level. Well. Yeah, I mean, like, they kind of lost track. Like, I feel like I lost track with the whole election thing. Like, that's kind of... The election is, like, whatever, honestly. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I'm trying to understand what the intentions of Season 1 was. Really, just it was the elections, and then the white whale came in. It was, I guess it was a highlight that there's these things happening in the world, but we just don't get the gravity and importance of them. Yeah. Like, we're now learning the other outside outside things, and, like, I guess how they play into that. Like Super is just getting more street smart. Oh yeah, you think he isn't or he is? Like he is through all this because he had no knowledge of the world, but was like, I know what to do. Yeah. Now he's like, oh my god. He's like, this is so annoying. He's like, there's so much to do, and it's like way more realistic. Yeah, I agree, but it just makes for like a really stale development. Oh, I think the pacing could be like fixed for sure. And what yeah. they do, like like. It's like they choose in some places, like the beginning of this episode, and then like post Roswell, that was like that could have been like two minutes max. Yeah, literally. 
they just need to choose like i don't know i think if they keep it consistent like what was it the episode before it was pretty fast right i forget which it was it's taste of death know. taste of death was really like that that episode was like like things were happening yeah that was probably the most action we got in a whole series because it was the mansion beatrice his eye the rabbits roswell Emilia, yeah Emilia, really. like that that was like the kind of pacing I'd like to see every episode. True. I mean, that's what happened with season one. I feel like season one's pacing was like, it fit like three arcs in that one season. Season one? Yeah. I mean, they fit three arcs, but like the mansion one with the the magical beast. 24 to 25 like, episodes. That one could have been like shorter. I feel like the, the mansion arc with the beasts. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it could have been shorter, but like they still fit like three arcs. And no, I they still like... fit three arcs. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like they're pacing still. Like I think those were like, like they dragged some things in those arcs. True. Like they made things. Sometimes they would they, like some. They have the habit of making something so mysterious that you're like, I kind of don't care anymore <laughs> until yeah. they tell you. They lost interest. Like with him going in his past, it was like, what the, what's his past? And then we were like, no more, please. Like, just oh, bring yeah, us back. Like they tried to push it for the trial, but like, it really didn't sell. Oh, well, it sold. It definitely sold, I'd have to say. It was too long, though. Like, it was just yeah. so long. That's true. We didn't need, they wasted time and money animating the mother talking about the supplements she gave him. Like, the suppository. suppository. Gotta keep the suppository. <laughs> this is why you're wrong. <laughs> it definitely worked. No, I mean, I'm surprised. I feel like after agreeing with each of you on different sides, I feel like mellowed out to the point where I'm like, all right. Well, this is the great way to encapsulate our fourth episode is that you agree with me. You agree with Moose, but you mostly agree with me. That's incorrect. That's very incorrect. hundred <laughs> percent of 50-50. It is like, very, I've never been in a closer 50-50 in my life for agreeing with anyone. Well, that's, that's in fact, like, how much you hate for Rumble for makes me. it like, oh, how much you didn't like the Roswell scene makes it, all, well, actually, no, but he also, how much he doesn't like the Satellis, it really evens out. It's like actually evened out pretty well. I'm just ready for the next time when you both agree on something. Even if you plan it, I don't believe you both will plan it because it'll I'll just your true intentions will come out. I'll but I can't wait for the day I have the hot take and you both completely agree. We'll see when that happens. I'm sure the comments section will be like the hot take will be the ones who are destroying me. The comments section, we have zero <laughs> comments. Yeah. That's what you think. After this episode, who knows? We're going to blow up. We got to create some like crazy uh like hey man remember down. episode well, i think it was last episode we started like a thousand ep a thousand likes and mo face reveal was that not cosplay? yeah it was mo co cosplaying cosplay who i'm not saying Fe yeah. felis felis Oh jeez! Oh, where is knight armor? Wait, I feel like Mo could cosplay like Roswell really well. Should be Roswell. Should you know what we've done, right? Now all our viewers picture you as Roswell, and that's yeah, that's very interesting forever. How does he do his voice? Super. Mm. That's really bad. No, it's it's. You got did like the like a third of the way through. He starts high. He's like, damn. Oh. Like, he goes like this, like, high oh, and then yeah. low. And then slows, too. Like, I don't know how to do it with, like. Yeah, English is like. With, yeah, with English, I was like. Because there isn't that modulation of speech. Like, you can say things very flatly. But yeah. I know in Japanese, like, you can tell me moose, right? It's like that enunciation and stuff is like kind of yeah. important modulation so it fits way better there 
Yeah, he like almost like it's like his voice goes like this. It's like it shoots up high and then down. It'd be like re zero was really good this week. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's like it sounds just wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to talk Japanese. You have to learn Japanese wow. now. Yeah, no, I'm trying. It's definitely not. It'd be tough to represent it. In... You know, you know Korean, right? A bit, yeah. Can you try doing it with a sentence like Korean? That uh, now. Even like, I'm trying to like even picture his voice now. I can't even like. Can you say just any sentence in Korean, like not with the X, like not with the. I mean, like, you can, like, I can tell you Anyo Seyo, but, like, that's... Anyo... Ah, Anyo Seyo? Anyo Seyo? Wait, dude, can we find Anyo a dub? Anyo Seyo? Like, that's how he would, like... Can we look up a dub? Is, is Roswell dubbed? I, I'd, I'd rather... I, never... I feel like I've heard it, but I've repressed it. Because I definitely, like... That's a good point, though. Like, try, look it up. Are we copywriting? <laughs> we'll find out. We get copyright uh, strike. We get copyright strike, my bad. We'll just mute it. But yeah, viewers, I'm pretty sure, like, in terms of content for this episode, like, this is where we're at. Like, in terms of talking about, like, the episode. Now this is, like, what we want. <laughs> Welcome to the bonus. Should I, should I, should I send it? Huh? We give slot? Sure. Yeah. It's literally good spot. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I don't know what we will talk about from now on since there's a four month <laughs> break. I don't but. know what you were watching per se, also, since you'll be probably staring at an image, but it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be Maybe we'll find life. some uh, we'll find some fall show to talk about. Oh dungeon. Dungeon. Yeah. Oh, and oh, IQ. Dungeon. IQ dungeon. Yeah, I feel like like those shows we probably like. It's not like we're gonna be forming some crazy conspiracies. Like that will just be like it was lit. This happened. Maybe so, the two of you will catch up on Rent a Girlfriend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have some shows to watch, but we'll talk about those after. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. Thanks right. for See listening ya. and joining us. See you guys. For the reason we're able to do this program and run it. Your support and um, income. You you yeah. do know this is our main source of income, right? Like, I'm jobless. We bring food to the table. <laughs> Please donate to our Patreon. You you and your eleven views that are <laughs> us.